So the question here comes from Matt and he plays a double bass and he wants to know, um, he wants to write for orchestra. He wants to compose his own music for orchestra. He's wondering about music theory, where to start, um, and if playing piano is necessary to compose and understand chords. Well, I think that a really good place to start is with the study of counterpoint. So I'm a big proponent of Fuchs counterpoint. I love this book. I go through the exercises a lot. Um, I've been studying music for a long time and I still go through the exercises. It's really great to know this is a good place to start. Um, then I would say another great resource. If you are really interested in learning tonal harmony um, and how chords function, maybe in a, in a little bit more of a modern context than this, then you could do the Pony Bernstein and Joseph Strauss text, Concise Introduction to Tonal Harmony. There's a lot of great examples in here, um, a lot of great ways to uh, learn how to voice lead and learn how certain harmonies have, uh, typically function and things like that. Um, this book is really great, full of, full of examples um, and interactive online book. But uh, for composing for orchestra, it's a whole different different thing. First, I would say, you know, get really strong at your uh, harmony skills, get really strong at your uh, counterpoint skills, and then study orchestration. Samuel Adler's book on orchestration. This book will tell you every detail about every instrument in the orchestra, what its range is, what special techniques it can do, uh, excerpts from the repertoire, things like that, um, things that have been done, um, things that can be done, and a lot of great examples in this book. But I think most importantly is to listen, 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 listen tons and tons of stuff. Listen to as much as you possibly can. And even better than that, follow along with a score. I love Mahler, Mahler Symphony 9. I have the score. It's published by Dover, so that means it's super inexpensive. So there's no barrier to entry. This was $6 in the US. Mahler, love it. Love those Dover scores. WC, another pocket score. Great, you know, it's got everything in there. You got room to make notes in the margins. If you want to write string quintets, Dover punched big scores too. Look, Mozart's complete string quintets. This was only $16. Get a bunch of scores, listen to a bunch of stuff, um, practice, 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 practice. Um, the last thing I can give you is a great resource online. Go to Khan Academy and find their arts and humanities section. Go to music and find masterpieces old and new. And there's a conductor that actually takes you through an analysis of pieces by like Shostakovich and Mozart and Beethoven and uh, even some newer pieces, some 20th century pieces too. As for the last part of the question um, regarding learning the piano, I wouldn't say you have to learn the piano. Learning the piano isn't necessary. Uh, I play classical guitar. Sure, when I'm writing things, I write on the piano, but I'm not I'm not good at the piano by any means. You won't find me on Wise Ant teaching how to play piano, that's for sure. Whatever you're most comfortable on, if, um, if going to piano and being able to hold down the chords and hold down the pedal and hear that harmony works for you, then go for it. Find a practice room somewhere and use the piano. Otherwise, um, you know, you play double bass, write on the double bass. If you can write a melody on the double bass and then maybe go to the piano later on or maybe go to a computer and uh, write it out in finale or something like that and get to get to hear what you're going for. But yeah, that would be my, my advice. Um, listen, listen, listen and study scores.